A word of advice to all the wisers. If you're going to have a girlfriend, make sure you don't accidentally kill her and make her leave you for another guy and then come back from the dead to try and kill you. Trust me, you don't want none of that shit in your life. So, Prom Night, Part 2, takes place in 1957, of course, at a senior prom, where Bill and Buddy, two friends, and of course Mary Lou uh, Maloney, um, are at their prom, and Mary Lou is a slut. She is a fucking slut, okay? She sends Bill away for punch while she goes and attends to buddy of course and bill finds this out billy has a short temper and yeah he sees a, a opportunity to get a, a little bit of revenge on her so he takes a smoke bomb that was plant thrown in the trash can by a couple of pranksters maybe as a prank to ruin her prom night moment because she was prom queen but accidentally sets her dress on fire and burns her alive 30 years later in 1987 Mary Lou finds her way back via the crown she w she won at her uh, senior prom 30 years ago as a girl tries to take a diamond out of it. And as she does that, her spirit comes back out of this, I want to say, chest? If you've seen the episode of I Love Lucy, you know that big chest that Lucy gets stuck in? Yeah, that type of thing. Anyway. And she, now she's back to raise hell on both Buddy and Bill and the rest of the students at this high school that Bill's son now attends. Yeah. But you're probably wondering, but how does she get revenge if she's, if she's a ghost? Oh, she, just a little bit of taking over a girl's body. So, yeah. And while she does that, the girl is hot anyway. So, yeah. I like this one a lot better than the original Prom Night. One, it takes a supernatural element. From the way the Prom Night was set up, you would never thought that they would take this movie in a supernatural setting. But they did, and they kind of made it work, and it kind of works better. Because even though you're not really, she didn't really kill many people just yet, and probably up to the same length as the original film, you just didn't really kill the first person to about an hour and two minutes in, if you will, if you count the girl she possessed. Uh, she was mainly doing all this weird, crazy shit to her, like torturing her for like the first 20 minutes or so. Like the first 20 minutes to the first hour of the movie. And this movie, unlike the original, does deserve its R rating. Okay? This movie is crazy, gory, and bloody, and I like it. Not too gory, though, but it, you, you, have, you have to see it to know what I'm talking about. I don't know if this movie came out in theaters or if it was direct to video, but I think it came out in theaters because it has a box office. So maybe it was a limited release back in 87. But yeah, the acting is pretty solid. I mean, you got Michael Ironside. You have Dark Side in this movie. He plays the older Bill, okay? While Buddy is now Father Cooper. So he had a little bit of uh, change in his life. Yeah. The chick who plays the regular chick and then becomes the possessed chick is hot. Okay? Especially since they have a scene where she literally walks around the girl's locker room butt-ass naked. And tries to make out with one of the chicks in the shower. That was hot. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. This movie's all kinds of crazy. But you know what? It, it makes for a good time. And you won't really be bored like you would the first one because there's a lot going on especially with the supernatural elements and her stalking this other girl to try and get her body and then her trying to get revenge on Buddy and Bill and trying to become prom, prom queen again at their prom it's, it's interesting I liked it and for that reason alone I'm gonna give prom night 2 I'm not gonna say that fucking name of the other name of the of this movie before before it gets to Prom Night 2 because it's kind of stupid. I'm going to put it in the description of the video title, but I'm not saying it because it's stupid. I'm just going to call it Prom Night 2. This movie going to get a B. 
fact, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I can't wait for part three. I didn't know there were four of these movies. I thought it was just this and the remake. But apparently there's four movies and then the remake. So I'm trying to hurry up because I only got the last day to do this before next Halloween. So, yes, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about Prom Night 2. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Which one you liked so far, the first one or the second one? Let me know. I'll catch y'all later.